is Charmaine and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, thanks so much for stopping by. And if it's not your first time, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to show you how you can print bigger when using Cricut Design Space. You know, right here, as you see, this is the picture that I uploaded. I already uploaded from, um, from my files. And the size right here is 6.75, which is the width, and the height is 9.72. We cannot make this picture any bigger when we want to print and cut with Cricut, okay? So I'm gonna show you if we, if we try to make it a little bit bigger. If I go up here and click on the um, height and I go up one, look at this. Cricut give us a little flag that says, no, we cannot print. They will not let us print. Let me show you. If I go to make this, it'll say this project is not supported by the current machine's um, selection. To resolve this, you must adjust the effective layers, okay? So let me go ahead and go back, and then we go back down to 9.2. Well, it went to, back down to 9.1. And see, now I'm able to cut and print. Let me show you. See, now it's, it's, um, it's ready. But look how small that is. That is smaller than uh, 8.5 by 11 page piece of paper. What if you want a bigger image? What if you have a shirt that you have to make for someone and they wear a 4X or a 5X? This would not be big enough for you to um, print on a shirt, okay? And you know, we only we not only print and cut with Cricut, you can also sublimate, okay? So this picture would not work because it's not big enough. So let's cancel this out. And let me show you how to make it bigger, okay? What I have to, what you have to do is you can print this image out on silhouettes, or you can print this image out on WordPerfect. Silhouette prints up to 13 by 19 and word perfect. I'm not sure the exact measurements, but it's bigger than this. I screenshot it, command shift four, highlight what I want and bam, there it goes. It'll go ahead and save it to my desktop. So I know this is gonna be on my desktop. So you can either do it this way with a Mac or you can, you can also go to make it, right click on it. And you can just push save as right here. You can do this on a Mac too, but you can also do this on a regular PC. Okay, but I think the screenshot is better for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this out. And now that I know this is saved on my desktop, I'm gonna show you how to get into Silhouette. So I already have it uploaded on my computer. So what you need to go is to silhouetteamerica.com slash software. I will put that in the description bar below. Okay, and the first thing you need to do is come down here and it says um, current version. And then you can go ahead and click on Mac, Windows, or it's two different kind of windows. You can either do the Windows 64 bit or you can do the Windows 32 bit. I did the uh, Mac, this is what I have, okay? And it tells you a lot of different things about the silhouette and it has everything on here that you can have if you have a silhouette. Um, prior to today, prior to today, I did not have a silhouette. So I'm using this free software to print out my images bigger. Okay, you can also click on here, where it says click here, you can look and see the different things they have. They have a basic edition, which is the one I have, it's free. The designer edition, which is $49.99. The designer edition plus is $74.99. And the business edition is $99.99. Today, I did purchase me a Cameo, okay, y'all? I got me a Silhouette Cameo 3. And I'm going to end up going ahead and do the business edition. I'm going ahead and upload this. But right now, I don't have, I, before today, I didn't have a Cameo. So I still use this software for free to upload my images. So I already downloaded this on my, on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And I'm going to show you how to get into that. This is the 4.2 basic edition and it's free. Okay. Okay, so basically you have to learn the basics of Silhouette if you want to use this. The only thing you need to know, the basic things you need to know is how to um, upload your image and resize it to the size you want. I use Silhouette for my um, sublimation, but you cannot cut and print an image out of here because you, if you don't have the machine, you have to have the machine because the machine to cut and print through here. That means you have to send it to, um, you have to send it to Silhouette machine okay but for sublimation you can just send it to your sublimating printer from um right from this space right here okay let me just show you how i'm going to go ahead and do this so basically you need to just go to file and you go to open 
And I know I just saved, this is popped up right here in my desktop. So I opened it up here and there it is. So then I just basically take my, my mouse and I just stretch it, okay? And I make it as big as I want to. And it tells you right here what the size is, 13 by 8, 4, 7. And then this is 10 by 4, 7, 4. Okay, and you don't have to worry about the white. When you're doing sublimation, you don't have to worry about the white. And I will be doing videos. Believe me, I have my Cricut still. Yes, I am a new mother today. I have, I am the mother of two. <laughs> the um, Silhouette Cameo 3 and the Cricut Explore Air 2. And I'm a proud mother. <laughs> so yes, I do have both. And believe me, I'm still going to bring those videos to you for Cricut. And I'm also going to start bringing videos for the Silhouette Cameo 3. But I'm still learning this. It's, see how it's so much more to learn from than the Cricut. So basically, you just you just click on this little um, sheet of paper right here. It's the first one up here, and then you just basically make sure this is the size you want. So it depends on what paper you're going to be using. Okay, I have the 11 by 17 sublimation paper, or you can still use the eight and a half by 11 because basically that paper is still bigger than the um, size that you can use for Cricut. So whatever size you need that you want to use, you make sure you have it over here. So um. You go to, you don't have to worry about the showing the cut border because there's no cutting. We're just going to be printing. But you can do the print bleed so you can see how big the paper is from for the printer that you're going to be printing from, okay? So then the size is right here. So you go to, cust you go click on that, and then you go to whatever size you want. If you want the 8.5 by 11, or you want the 12 by 12 mat, or you can customize it. So you push custom, then you go ahead and make whatever size you want. Right here is 11 by 17. This is what I had to set for because that's the paper I was using at that time. That you know you have 11, you have it set for 11 by 17. And that's the size of the mat. We don't have to worry about the mat because you're not cutting. You're just going to print it out. So you guys basically worry about your print, your size of your page. So you make sure it's not too big for the, to be printed out on the paper. So you see if you go over some. Okay, you have to basically put... Um, show cut borders. You can see where it's going to be cut. So you see it's red. Do not go past that red line, okay? If you go past that red line, it would not cut. I mean, it would not print, okay? So this is how it's going to print out. If your image is past that, it will it will cut the hair off as far as printing printing it, okay? Like I said, I'm going to be sending this to my sublimating printer. So this then you have to go to file, and then you go to print. Make sure everything's set up right. Okay, this is my printer. That's correct. And I go down here to where it say light layout, and then I go to print settings. Okay. Then I go to um okay, the, the paper source is the um paper cassette. That's fine. Okay, the media type, you go down to premium presentation, paper mat. That's what you use when you sublimating, okay? And then you go to print quality, you always use best quality. You go to borderless because you want to make sure you get as much as you can on your paper. And then you go to mirror image because you're putting heat on it, okay. Okay, and then you go ahead and print it. But I'm not going to print it because I'm not doing this. This I just want to show you this for this video. But this is how you print to make... This is how you print a bigger image when using Cricut. Okay? And the only reason why, like I said, the only reason why I bought the Silhouette Cameo 3 is because it was only $79.99. I could have still been using this basic free version. Now, I will also be uploading videos to compare the two. To see um, which one y'all want to buy. If y'all haven't chose which one you want to buy yet but you can cut vinyl bigger in Cricut but you cannot print out a picture bigger than um you can't do a print and cut bigger than the the regular size that they give you which is nine by 6.75 so for those of you that has both the Cricut and the silhouette which one do you like better okay please let me know in the description bar below I will be doing more tutorials on the Cricut Explore Air 2 and also the Silhouette Cameo 3. If this video was helpful for you, please like and subscribe my channel. And please check out my Facebook group. It is called Brown Girls Craft with Cricut. But now these brown girls are going to be crafting with Cricut and Silhouette because I have both machines now. If you don't feel like designing the images that you see that I create on my YouTube channel, please check out my website where I design all your items personally just for you. My website is called charminggalboutique.com. Also, let's stay connected. Follow me on Instagram, Miss Charming Gal. And I'll put all those links below. If you are interested in owning or purchasing a Cameo Silhouette or a Cricut Explore Air 2, 
I will leave the links below. I do receive a certain percentage of the profit if you order from Amazon from the links that I put in my description bar below with no extra cost to you. And I do appreciate you if you do purchase anything from my Amazon links. If you have any questions, please put them down below. And until next time, see you later.